Hi guys, Ashantin here. I thought I would do a quick video to update you on what I've been doing on the server and at Spawntown. Oh, I don't want to see the back of my head. Right, um, what I've been doing is building some stables. And these are communal stables. If anyone wants a stable, then please label it. I've got my horse in the end there. And it is what they call a tileable design. And that means that if we have more than four people wanting stables, then... <laughs> Oops. Recording. Okay then I can build out this way, but also I can build out at the other end. It will easily extend. I haven't gone too far at this stage. Um, no problem, I don't mind Jackson chatting to me while I record. Um, this is an amazing house that Ricky's building. I love the roof. These really tall roofs always remind me of the um, mainland Europe roofs. They have much steeper roofs over there than we do in Britain. I tend to build mine a bit low um, for medieval, or at least the Minecraft medieval style. Um, but I can extend this way. At the moment I've got four stables. I'm taking one and Jackson's taking one. There's two free. I don't know if anybody wants them, but I think that if... Um, for example, Nathan decides he wants a stable and he can move his horse. I know that uh, Gummy has her own horse pen right next to her house. Dog, I'm not sure about you. MJ, you might just want somewhere to park them. The way it operates is that the pen at the front is communal. Park any horse, donkey, mule, any old nag, put it right in the front here. And then you can just leave them there and this should be secure. But if you want to lock it away, moving inside, there are little stalls in here. And two are occupied, two are free. I'll build more on according to demand. Up here we do of course have a hayloft. Not much hay yet, I'm growing wheat in my basement, but uh, it's a start as they say. I'm not sure we're in the position on the server yet to have any spare saddles and leads, but it'd be lovely if we do to put them in there. I've left some spare chests here, one at the other end, obviously a workbench in case anyone wants it. The other thing is I thought that we needed somewhere where we could put coordinates. And seeing as people tend to grab a horse and run or go off on a journey on a horse, I've put a coordinates wall here. I've put the spawn coordinates and I've put the coordinates for our nether hub, uh, just so if anybody wants them. And I just thought it might be useful if anyone like, you know, Gummy for example, or Dork, would like to put in the coordinates for their um, nether fortresses. And I believe we have a flower forest, uh, the skeleton farm, I must get the overland coordinates because that bridge of Ricky's is a stairway to hell, I tell you. It, it's almost like a test of face to go across that thing. So I'm thinking of an overland route. I have planted a small netherwood farm under this beautiful spruce tree. So if anybody wants netherwood, it's there. If you want to regrow the spruce tree, um, you'll have to harvest the netherwood because as you know, four square trees will only grow if they've got a too wide space all the way clear round them. And I think that this tall nether wart will count as not clear. I'm going to say 